Hello everyone and welcome back to more Fire Emblem the Sacred Stones. Today we are going to be traveling to Ide. So let's go. So yeah, King and Hayden apologizes for not being able to spare um, Erica any more soldiers, but he does give Erica two valuable members, being Vanessa and Mulder. So that'll make my will make her journey a lot easier. But now she's going to be heading over to the Oh, right, it's, it's not going to show that yet, anyway. Yeah, she's currently just chasing rumors. And is going to be uh, going to a remote village known as Ide, which used to be part of Renee. So we'll see what's going to be happening to this area. Oh, boy. Chapter 2, The Protected. Alright, so, now they're just going, now she's just bringing up that they're going to be heading to, okay, that they're trying to go into Seraphew, which of course is in Grado territory, but they've got to go pass through Ide first. Oh, and Vanessa is going to try and scout ahead and see what, uh, see if anything's happening. In, yep. And just letting Vanessa, she's just letting Vanessa know to just be, be, uh, be alert, you know. Yep, and now, here she goes, and uh, unfortunately, bandits. Great. And yeah, they've, unfortunately, bandits are the only units in the series, like, at least in this game anyway, that can destroy villages. Which is really, really, really annoying. We'll see that later on, but... Yeah, he's going to go... Well, this guy's going to go and knock out this one village. But, here we have two other characters. Ross and Garcia. Or Garcia, I believe that's how it's pronounced. I... It's probably Garcia, but anyway. And now Garcia's going to be getting a stun out of there. And now he's... Yeah, this guy's just going to go ahead. And... Okay, that guy's gonna go and destroy that other village. Meanwhile, this guy destroys this one. But luckily, Gar Garcia and Ross were able to get out of there. And, but unfortunately, Ross is hurt from that, but... Yeah. And I should also bring this up about Ross, is he's one of the three trainer units in the game. What are trainer units? Well, they're units that have a... Um... That can be promoted into a later... Cl uh, into, like, either... Okay, let me bring Ross up as an example. Whenever he reaches level 10, he'll have the option to go into a standard base class being either warrior or pirate. So he can be pretty unique and Ross is overall, well, if you decide to try and use him, he can be pretty good. And yeah, Vanessa has spotted this and she's going back to tell Erica that bandits are attacking the area. Yeah, and that they need to go ahead and do what they can in this situation. And yeah, Erica's also asking Mulder if he's a healer at all. And yes, he is a healer. He's actually, to my knowledge, one of the better healers in the game. I personally don't use him just because I prefer some other characters over him. Anyway. Yep, now Vanessa is going to have a, a closer starting spot. So what you want to do with Vanessa is have her rescue Ross. Rescuing is one of the better mechanics in the series just because you're able to temporarily take a unit out of the like off the battlefield Unfortunately, it does hit your skill the unit's skill and speed quite a bit, but they can drop them off to another unit It's just fantastic for repositioning Anyway, let's put Franz over here move Gilliam right down here Move Mulder probably right here Seth all the way down here and Erica we're putting her right here and visiting this village, we we're going to see a character who we will see later on in the game. Who is currently talking to a woman who basically thinks that their village is doomed. Alright, and Erica is going in here to warn everyone to just stinking lock the gates so nobody gets hurt. Plus, you know, so no one gets attacked. And then meanwhile, this woman is, is asking who the heck Erica is, and she uses a fake name, Erina. <laughs> That'll be a hilarious gag thing if they ever do that in Final Heroes one day. Anyway. 
Or at least that'd be a funny throwaway or like gag line. But yeah. And uh, yeah, this woman right here is Selena, who is a, uh, one of the generals of Grado. Yeah. And obviously, Erica, knowing this, is just kind of confused and worried. Though, funnily enough, Selena would actually... If these two were to actually fight each other, Selena would just completely, like, one-shot Erica. Just because Selena's base stats are stinking insane. I don't know if it's insane, but really, really good. So, yeah, Erica would get completely wrecked. I mean, she does have a rape here, so that counts for something, but uh, yeah. But thankfully, Selena is a very nice person and hands Erica a red gem, which you can sell for some decent money, which thank goodness for that, because you kind of need as much money as you can get early game. Later on in the game, it's not really much of an issue, but it's just early game where you really need to make your money count. All right, so Garsha's... Garcia is going to attack this guy with a hand axe. Nice. He was actually able to wipe this guy, guy out. Awesome. All right. So now what we're going to do is drop uh, Ross right over here and move you probably to say... Uh, actually, let's move her more towards Garcia so we can get him away from these guys. And now we can go ahead and talk to Ross and try and recruit him. Yeah, and Ross is currently explaining the situ situa situation and asking Erica if she will help out. Though Ross is also in a little bit of a panic just because, you know, his home just got attacked and all that stuff. And even though he's literally just a kid, he's, you know, he could fight. He's had a good trainer. And he also has a actually decent weapon. It's not a personal weapon, but he's the only character that has it being a hatchet oh. uh, right over here a hatchet which is pretty nice it's decently lightweight so that means some characters who use axes can double with it pretty well it doesn't have the greatest mind in the world but it's overall a decent weapon and Ross's stats are nothing special he's honestly starting off he's quite bad but with enough training he can become something special and then yeah, okay, so she's close to him. I'm gonna move Gilliam and Franz up over into the armory. I'm not gonna use the armory yet, just because I don't have any real need to with him. In, well, with him. Erica, though, she will definitely uh, be able to buy a few items from there. And we're just gonna go use Mulder to heal up Ross for now. Nice. And move Seth up into the forest. They're never going to straight up attack Seth unless he's the only option that they can attack. He's just that busted. Anyway, Franz, can you double this guy? Ah, man. It's annoying that Franz can't really double these guys at base. Probably in easy mode, but definitely not on this mode. Anyway, if Gilliam... No, sorry. If Gar Garcia doesn't one-round this guy... Yep, yep. Archers in this game are infamously bad. Their stats are just awful and it's really easy for anyone to one round them anyway we're gonna go rescue garcia just so we can stay away from the fight for now and then we'll we'll have gilliam hopefully dang it ah, man that just makes my job even harder thanks a lot you stupid bandit anyway uh ross can actually get some chip damage in here so that's good Ooh, yeah since Ross is a trainer unit, he's actually able to get a lot of EXP from enemies. I'm actually debating getting this kill with Seth. I think I'm gonna go ahead and get this kill with Seth. Oh, wait. Okay, so I have a couple options right now. I think what I'm going to do is have Seth move towards here. Even though that does mean he is going to have to fight one of these guys. That doesn't matter. It just... You know, I like getting the EXP to some of my weaker units, but I can move Franz over here as well. I might be overextending it just a little bit, but it's fine. All right, so we're going to go to the armory real quick. Sell this. We cannot sell the rape here at all, which is a, you know, that's a nice thing. So no player accidentally sells it. And we're going to buy a couple iron swords. That's because we're going to go through them quite a bit. 
Oh, I forgot that uses up her turn. Yikes. Okay, we're, we'll be fine, though. We're fine. Let's go heal up Gilliam for now, though, with Mulder. He also has a nickname called Mulder the Boulder. Actually, I haven't... I haven't shown you all his, uh, their base stats yet. I'll show them next turn, actually. All right, so he's going to regain some HP by using a Volinary. These guys are all going to move up. This guy's going to, uh, to attack Franz, only confirming my theory <laughs> that they'll just keep attacking the weaker guy. Well, that's usually how Fire Emblem AI goes. They attack whoever's weaker. They'll have a few, like, weird moments here and there, but that's usually how it goes. Anyway, um, let me just drop off Garcia over here. And now we can show off Vanessa. She's really darn fast since she starts off with 11 speed. Her con is not the greatest, which means she does get weighed down by heavier weapons like her, like her javelin. But aside from that, she's overall pretty decent. Though to be fair, Pegasus is nice to never have good, um, good con at all. But yeah, overall, Vanessa, very solid unit. One of the better units in the game. Then we have... Boulder! I don't know why people call him the boulder because his defense is pretty rough. I believe that's because he has a good defense growth or something like that. I'm not sure, but Mulder, he's he's actually pretty decent. He starts off with a C in his uh, staff rank, which is really nice, which means he can use some uh, nicer staffs later on. And he has some decent... He's got some decent... Uh, he's actually got decent speed for a cleric, huh? But aside from that, he seems a little bit average, though his high weapon rank is really nice. All right, so let's move Seth right over here. And yeah, now we're going to be able, yeah, Seth is just gonna warn them about the bandits and now they're gonna give us a pure water. Pure water, it grants, I believe, five res? Well, five additional res temporarily. Okay, it doesn't show what it, how much res it grants, but it's a decent item. Incredibly situational, but it's decent. Anyway, let's go talk to Gar Garcia with Ross. Yeah, so now... Um... He's wondering what, how the heck Ross got over here. It, because Vanessa helped anyway. Um, he's now convincing Garcia to try and help... Um, help us at the moment. And yep, now we're able to use Garcia. So Garcia is also... Pr um... He's decent early game. His speed is actually good starting out, but his his growth in speed, on the other hand, is pretty bad. He's only got a growth of 20% in speed, if I remember correctly. So, yikes there. But everything else is pretty decent, and he has some he has really good con, which means he'll be able to use very heavy weapons like the axes without getting weighed down that much. So yeah, all in all, very solid units early game anyway he can again he can still be good later on it's just you know he can fall off but early game though good lord he's good and speaking of our lord let's go move erica over here and use one of our new iron swords to one round this guy all right okay good dodge good job there erica okay so now this guy's been eliminated very very nice Volinary, nice. Okay, so these guys are not going to be able to attack anyone else. So that's good. I should probably move Garcia over here. Uh, keep Mulder back. Okay, anyone need healing at all? No. Okay, cool. So we can just move Mulder back. Well, he does, but it doesn't matter. And end our turn for now. Okay, so these guys are going to start moving up. Vanessa is going to get attacked, but it won't really matter. And... Hopefully, yes! Vanessa was able to one round. Fantastic, Vanessa. Okay, not bad. Alright, so this guy's going to attack Erica. You're kidding me! 15%? Jeez! At least she leveled up. You know, she leveled a lot of important stats, except her strength and in defense. Gosh, dang it, Erica. Uh, dang it, Gilliam. Okay, this is fine. This is fine. Alright, so now what we're going to do... Uh, we're going to move Gilliam back a little. Uh, back two spaces. Move you back. 
We can't get Mulder to Erica right now without losing this spot. So we're just going to use a Volan... I'm just going to use... I'm just going to have her use a Volanary for now. All right, cool. So we have a blind spot that we can heal Gilliam in. So let's go heal Gilliam up. There we go. And let's see. We could move Ross in range, but that would actually be a really bad idea. So we're not going to do it. Yep. Yeah, so we're just going to have everyone end their turn. Okay, cool. So this guy is going to attack Erica now. Thank you for missing. <sighs> Add that 15% to stupid RNG that's happened to me. Good lord. This game hates me RNG-wise in any way. Yeah, now it's time to fight the boss. Thankfully, he missed. I don't think his stats are any better than everyone else's. All right. Still going for Gilliam, I see. Thank you for hitting Gilliam. Okay, so that's good. Um, now what we're going to do... We're going to see if Ross can do a little more... Ooh, wait. We can probably do some chip damage on the boss. Ooh. Come on. Good EXP. Uh, that's about that's about the same. You ever take, like, one extra, but... Eh, still better than what I could have been. Actually, not. It's it's worse than what I, than what I was expecting. Oh, well. All right, so Gilliam was able to wipe out that guy, and we'll now heal up Gilliam with good old Molder. Just because I like getting as much EXP on my healers as possible. That's usually how I play Fire Emblem anyway. Where I like to try and get as much EXP as I can. Uh, can I one round this guy with Vanessa? Yes, I can. Is it weird how anytime you hear the Vanessa, I just think of Vanessa from Phineas and Ferb? Is it just me or no? Okay, anyway. That guy's been eliminated, and do I give this extra one to Erica? Yeah, I'll, I'll go ahead and do that. Get the crud out. And he's down. Yes! Okay, we got enough to level up and then some. Okay, nothing even matters. Any she got strength. Yes! Yes! Well done, Erica. And now we're done with the level. Yeah, I'm really now happy that I got Erica that last kill. And now Seth is able to recognize Garza as someone who ended up fighting for Renee in the past. Yeah. He's basically been in retirement for a while whenever it comes to raising his son because we'll we'll get he'll say what happened to what's that why he retired to begin with. Weirdly enough though, he looks very like his sprite is cool. Like Garcia Garcia's sprite is cool and all, but there's something about his eye that makes him look very I don't know. Like I don't know how to put it. He looks very like coked out of his mind or something like that. That's like the best way I can put it. <laughs> oh man. It's like change the eye model a little bit and it'll be a lot, you know, it'd be nicer. Yeah, in this case, Garcia just lived his life being a soldier, but he kind of... He spent more time fighting instead of actually looking after his family. So whenever his wife died, he realized what he had to do and had to look after and decided to look after you know decided to retire and be a good and be a good dad so yeah you can mark him as one of the better dads in fire emblem okay i mean kind of better i mean he did take a moment to real he did take a moment to realize what he had to do because he got distracted with this stuff but at least he realized what what's actually important in life. But Ross is kind of wanting to continue the... Uh, he wants to finish the fight. Anyway, sorry, I had to get my obligatory Halo reference out of the way. But anyway, yeah. Ross still wants to continue to fight and actually hone his skills. He also respects his dad more than anyone. And Ross is also able to realize that fighting is a big part of Garcia. And that that's kind of who Garcia is. He's a fighter. 
which I do hope he gets into Fire Emblem Heroes one day because he deserves it. If Gilliam got in recently, then he, he deserves it as well. And yeah, Ross was able to convince Garcia. And now he's going to be joining in on the fight. Well, joining in. So that means we have one pretty strong unit and Ross <laughs> anyway. Oh, uh, man. No worries, Ross. We'll get you better soon enough. Because next level is actually going to be really good for him. All right. And now, random guy with a mustache. Whose mustache... Nah, it doesn't remind me. It reminds me a little bit of Cervantes from Final Moon Awakening, but that's just about... It's a similar mustache, even though Cervantes' mustache was much bigger. Good lord, I can't wait till the day I'm actually able to let's play Awakening in the 3DS games. Particularly Awakening and Echoes, I would not be excited to let's play Fates, because even though I know Fates is a decent game, all things is a good game, all things considered, it it's not one of my favorites to play. And now... Alright, I believe Erica is being told about her bracelet, and that she should probably not be having that out in the open. Just because it's, it's an incredibly valuable bracelet! Yeah, anyway. <laughs> yeah, and now she's being told that bandits are basically roaming the la Wait, crud, this- This game does pay a lot of homage to Fire Emblem Echoes, huh? Or at least Gaiden back then. Well, it was Gaiden back then, now I just know it as Echoes, but anyway. Just because of bandits rising up and a lot of stupid crud going on in the world ever since Grado ended up just deciding to go ahead and mess everything up. Later that night. Yeah, she's just thinking about her brother, and now we get a flashback. I believe this is the training flashback. Oh, yep, training. Not gonna lie, I really like their back, um, their flashback portraits. I know it's just a different filter on them, but I like the filter. It actually conveys that, the full flashback thing pretty well. Ah, one day we'll get a Sacred Stones anime. One day we'll actually get a good Fire Emblem, Fire Emblem anime. Yeah, even though Erica, and also bringing up that, even though Erica doesn't really care for violence, she still needs to know how to fight. So then she'll be able to protect herself. Which, hey, that training has definitely paid off. Yeah, Ephraim is kind of a very protective brother as well. Though he's also incredibly brash, and come to think about it, this is the first we've actually got to see of Ephraim's dialogue in this game so far. Yeah. You know, I kind of wish that um, both Ephraim and Erica weren't locked to their own uh, respective weapons, because I would have liked it if they were able to use, like, um, Erica eventually being able to use a lance and Ephraim being able to use a sword eventually because Ephraim does know how to use a sword. I know he prefers to use a lance, but yeah, it would be cool for him to actually have a sword thing or at least an axe or anything like that. Because I know he does have an axe ult in Heroes, so that would be stinking cool if Sacred Stones ever does get a remake. I'd play the heck out of a remake of this game with the, with their standard, like the, like with the whole voice cast that they'd get for this game, it would be stinking great. Because if they just bring in their Final Emblem Heroes voice actors, it would be stinking amazing anyway. Now, here's a thief! He's important. We'll, we'll run into him again later. And, yeah. And, yeah, someone... Yeah, someone bumped into you, Erica, but, uh... <sighs> yeah, her bracelet got swiped. Gosh dang it. Gosh dang it, Erica. This is what happens when you... Stare off into the distance. I should know. I've lost a, I've lost a few things because of that as well. Whenever I'm just wrapped up in my thoughts or incredible like that. I mean, recently I accidentally left my earbuds at a friend at a friend's house because I didn't notice they slipped out of my pocket. Thankfully, I found them, so I'll be able to get them soon. But anyway, <laughs> uh, I'll be able to get them back soon. Anyway, yeah, Erica doesn't want to get sentimental, but well. The bracelet is more important than Erica thinks it is. And Seth knows that, but anyway, guys. 
that is where we're going to wrap up this episode of Fire Emblem the Sacred Stones. Next time, we are going to be going to Borgo Ridge. So thank you so much for watching, and have a good day, guys. Bye!